hell yeah, baby. The expert says George Washington lays into Mitch O'Connell all <laughs> fucking day. Like, just beating the brutal, savage shit out of that man. There's no way he's coming back from this. He can't even remember to say shit on the podium because he just... Uh, get him in the Special Olympics. It's pretty deep past that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me. But yeah, George Washington all day. George Washington. Got it. Um, I th- I th- I'm going to go with you guys. I, I do think that Washington's going to take it. I think that their wide receiver core is a lot better. Uh, they're probably the best in, in, in college football, to be candid with you. Um, I, I like Michigan's defense. I just don't know that, that Michigan's defense is going to be able to shut down Washington's offense. And so that being the, that being the case, I'm going to go with like a weird score prediction. Let's go with like 33-24 Washington. I like and, that. And just go with that. Just something weird, something something out of the way. Hopefully it's entertaining and and uh so we'll 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 have to see when this episode airs who was correct and maybe none of us are correct, who knows, but uh let's <laughs> go into anyway. our uh because <laughs> <laughs> we all said Washington. <laughs> <laughs> no. So let's go into our final segment, boys, and it is It's time for raunchy recast. Take a big step back and literally fuck your own face. All right, so all of us have had experience trying to recast films on our previous podcast. And when we got together and said we wanted to do something in our very first episode, um, I threw it out there that we should recast The Hangover as if it were done in the mid-90s. So that's what I've got. We've got five characters that we're, that we're recasting. We're recasting Alan, Stu, Phil, Doug, and Mr. Chow. Who wants to go first? I'm oh, stoned. Do. All right, stoned. Stone raised go. his hand. <laughs> yes. I've spoken. Um, so for Alan, actually no, no, no okay, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with Doug. Okay. So for Doug, I got Tom Hanks. Because <laughs> nice. we are used to that motherfucker getting lost <laughs> by some means. Whether it be on an island, whether it be by pirates. Whether it be going down the Hudson, that dude gets lost. Getting lost lost in the airport, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, get lost in the airport. (laughs) Dude. Seattle, he's just like, where the fuck is Seattle? (laughs) Exactly. Gets lost a lot. So he'd be a perfect duck. Stu would have to be Rick Moranis. (laughs) He would have to. Really? And I want to see some raunchy stuff come from Rick. I want to see that. (laughs) Because I would, I would just love for to see Rick just get up with the tooth missing and just be like, my tooth. I would love to see that from Rick. Hey, who brought now the for dog? Phil, <laughs> for Phil, this one, this one was actually the first one that came to mind, and he's probably he's probably my favorite pick on the list besides besides Chow. So for Phil, I got Christian Slater. That's a good one. Mm. I think Christian Slater would make an excellent Phil. Not only does he have that good look that Phil does, he's very like, very sly, like like Bradley portrayed him, and I just like very cool and suave. I think that would be a really good pick for Phil. Now Alan is without a doubt Chris Farley. Damn it, that's like, what I said. No, <laughs> yeah, like no if ands or buts. Alan has to be Chris Farley. Hundred percent. Lastly, lastly, I'm gonna rewrite just a little piece of the script and have it be they trap someone from a cartel in the trunk, and out pops a naked Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you tried to kidnap me. I, you, BZ, you want to go next since you you also have uh, Farley as your as your Alan. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We could do that. So, um, uh, Alan, which is Zach Goffinakis's character. I mean, Chris Farley, duh. It's, it's the only one that fits the, I mean, maybe an honorable mention would possibly be Robin Williams. Mm. I had that thought too, <laughs> but you and me busy. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, Farley 100% just fits the bill. Um, for Bradley Cooper's character, Phil, you you have to do Brad Pitt, man. Like, obviously, he's Brad the Pitt. pretty boy of the nineties. Yeah. So you you just have to Nailed go it. with Brad Pitt. <laughs> um, let's see, who else did I have? Okay, so Stu 
the uh, Ed Helms character. I was thinking Chevy Chase because he's he's like Tom. He's always kind of he always seems lost. Russ, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So Doug on uh, Doug the Justin Bartha's character. I was thinking Freddie Prince Jr. because he's mm. still kind of a a pretty boy, popular, um, and you don't really have to see him a whole lot in the movie. Um, and then Mr. Chow, I felt this one actually was the easiest one thinking in the nineties, you got to go George Takai. Oh, wow. That's a great pick. <laughs> I didn't even think that's about a, George Takai. He, he pops out of the trunk. Yeah. I thought oh about him, but I, I had already. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's oh my funny. God. I like that one. All right, uh, no, but, you want to I mean, go or you want me to go? I'll go because I have a matching one with Beasy. But what were you going to say, Beasy? Go ahead. I was going to say, honestly, you could take every single one of these and recast it from a cast member from the 90s SNL because that's arguably the greatest segment of SNL history. Right. With all the yeah. actors. Adam Sandler's Canteen Boy. <laughs> Perfect for Alan. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so... Uh, along with the two of you fools, I originally was thinking along the lines of Chris Farley, but I felt that Chris Farley was too rambunctious to be Alan. I felt he was too <laughs> much, too much to be Alan. It, it, it fit because you need somebody like that. And I had kicked around, but I actually found a weird one because Alan's very weird. So I looked a little deeper and I went with uh Steven root. Uh, Steven root is the, uh, from office space, uh, Stapler? I believe stapler. you have my stapler. Yeah. Because uh, he's <laughs> oh, just a okay. fucking yeah, oddball. Yeah. And I'm like, that guy would fit as an Allen because he's just a little bit too fucking weird. Um, okay. Yeah, I okay. can see that. Oh, I guess. So uh, for Doug, I felt like I was thinking about like what person just looks like a lost person who always looks confused from the 90s. And I had to go with Keanu Reeves for Doug because he just <laughs> had that fucking look of like, where the fuck am I? So it's not a bad option. I, I went with Keanu Reeves. Uh, Phil, I did also go with Brad Pitt. Um, I originally had a different uh, Phil, and I changed my mind and went with Brad Pitt because I felt like the suave, handsome. Brad Pitt can also be funny, as we found out later in his career. Um, but mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I felt like that fit. Uh, for Stu, I, I really had a tough time with Stu, and I still don't even really like my pickle a whole lot. But I felt like, who's a kind of character that could pull off a, a stew and I still still had a tough time but I went with Emilio Estevez because I was just like why the fuck not he's a big Emilio. 90s guy got to, got to, I, like it. I like that answer I like that um, answer and lastly Chow um, I went with Victor Wong uh, the grandpa from Three Ninjas so uh, oh, he was also in Three Ninjas so, okay. I, I thought like you it. were going to go Miyagi I like no it. I I felt like uh, Chow was actually really tough. I felt like I didn't have as many options as what I like. I like the stoned, how he kind of just went to a different, uh, different personality on, on that. But yeah, that was, that was my, uh, that was my gig for uh, the hangover mid nineties. So B word, close like it out. It. All right. So my, my hangover cast in the mid nineties, uh, Stu, I chose Tim Robbins. So Tim Robbins, uh, Susan Sarandon's Ooh, ex-husband, nice. uh, yeah, he's Shawshank Redemption. I, yep. I thought that he kind of mm-hmm. carried himself kind of like Ed Helms. Uh, he, he would be the serious one that when shit happens, it would just be hilarious for him. Um, Phil, I, I looked at, I looked at Phil and Bradley Cooper did a phenomenal job. And I was like, who would have the look of Bradley Cooper, but also could pull out like the brashness and like all the ridiculousness who better than a drug addicted Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Would just be fucking phenomenal. <laughs> as Phil. Fantastic. So Excellent. I went with that. And then for Doug, because it's a small part, I wanted to have somebody who at least had face recognition. So I did pick an eighties actor, but was also prominent in the nineties. John Cusack would be for Doug. And so oh, I just nice. figured he's a, you know, he's, he's got Ooh. the look, he's off to the side. Okay. And then for Alan, I think this is my favorite pick for Alan. My first thought too was Chris Farley. And I was like, okay, I can't do that because if my first thought is Chris Farley, it's a good chance that everybody else's <laughs> thought is Chris Farley. So I went into the, t- I went into the tank and I was like, okay, who were some really good actors in the nineties that I would really, that I would really enjoy seeing. If you remember in Twister, 
um, Philip oh, Seymour yeah. Hoffman was the crazy oh, dude yeah. driving nice. the van, and I was like, Let's Philip go. Seymour Hoffman as Alan would be fucking phenomenal. Nice. That's a good Philip pick. Seymour That's a good Hoffman pick. in yeah. in um, Along Came, came Polly. Polly. <laughs> That's Rain exactly drops. who I'm thinking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> making it burn. Like it would just Make be so good. Um, and the hardest one was Mr. Chow. I, I honestly thought all of you guys would choose. One. It was. I thought all of you guys would choose Jackie Chan, and nobody chose Jackie Chan. Um, <laughs> it, it went. It went for me. It went Jackie Chan and Jet Li, and then I was like, "No, let's get off that." Train. And let's, that's that's where I was at too. And then I thought mm-hmm. Pat Morita, who played you know um, uh, Mr. Miyagi, and then I was like, "No, that's not good." And then there was a there was a movie in the '90s, early '90s. It was called Dr- Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Um, the guy's name was Jason mm. Scott Lee or something, and I was yeah, like, "Okay, he'd be yeah, good for Jason it too." Lee. But then I, I chose kind of a uh, kind of a stoned route where um, he decided to uh, misappropriate somebody's race, and I said, "Why not choose Eddie Murphy? <laughs> Eddie Murphy as Mr. Chow would just be fucking hilarious. Like he'd he'd pop he out of that trunk, sounded like Donkey from fucking Trick. Why the fuck you guys put me in that fucking trunk? God damn it, motherfucker! And then you know when he's like, goodbye, gay boys. I could see that all day long from Eddie Murphy. So that's why I went with Eddie Murphy there. So, well, with that, boys, that kind of ends that segment. So, uh, what else you guys got? Not a lot for me, man. Is first episode i, f- I feel like you should have went chris good. farley because it would have been it would have been hilarious because the three of us went yoda no one went something else the three of us went farley and he went something else we went two then for two then you just get rid of gnome that's true you just get rid of me <laughs> Fuck you guys i'm out just put him in the garden put him in the garden he'll watch the door <laughs> i'm excited to uh to continue this journey with you um this is something that i've been looking forward to i know that all of you guys have as well um this is going to be a weekly podcast so for everybody listening make sure to uh check us out weekly make sure to subscribe and download also follow us on all the socials i'll make sure that all of those are in the show notes and with that boys uh let's go ahead and uh and head out no regrets no regrets later I say just give them hell. So, I had an idea. We could just recast the entire movie of The Hangover with just Nick Cage. Oh, oh that'd be fucking beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We fucked up. <laughs> Nick Cage characters from his other movies. I mean, he played totally the best John Travolta. Let's be real. <laughs> so long, gay boys. <laughs> Watch out, you think you're big baller Bow down to make another dollar Stand up and hear the world holler I say just give them hell